Helicopter, hold on. All right, not sure if you can hear that, but it's going overhead. All right, so uh, simple workout today. I was just listening to the legs this morning. I was thinking about doing some 600 repeats, but I've decided to cut that in half. So I'm only gonna do eight by 300. Again, yesterday, in yesterday's vlog, we talked about sharpening. Keyword, sharpening. That's right, the sharpening has begun, and it's, it's happening now. So I'm just a little tired from the long run, and I don't, with 30 days to go, basically, I don't want to start digging a well for my legs. I don't want them to get overtired. I've made it this far without going overtired. So, and I feel strong, I feel fit, uh, but I know that if I pushed it too hard today, then I wouldn't be able, I know it's crazy, but today's Thursday, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Monday is the next threshold. That is way more important for me to hit that threshold uh, compared to the 600 repeats for me. That's how I approach getting ready for a marathon. So that's what we're doing here today. Eight by 300, again, just working on snappiness and uh, turnover and form and feeling fluid through my gait cycle. So, and today's the first video publishing today. The second is gonna be my full review, finally, of the Saucony Fast Twitch 8s. They are on my feet right now. We're just, we're just raw and real here, folks. I'm just chilling on the side of the road. Everybody's staring at me as I squat down and stretch. Basically, uh, I'm just listening. Just gotta listen. Turn those ears on, right? As you used to hear in elementary school. Uh, my legs are tired, they're sore. And uh, I did those 300, some 300 repeats just to get that turnover going, but now uh, I'm, cu I'm cutting this run short. And I'm gonna see, but I might run twice today. We'll just see how the legs feel in like eight hours from now to see if they feel a little better. Uh, anyway, just gonna listen, just listen to the legs because right now it is not working. I'm running like, I'm running like 10 minute pace, maybe 9.30 pace and they're just like, uh-uh, uh-uh. So that's what we're doing. We're just out here chilling, just chilling. All right, here we go. Oh man, got my sun hat on, just wrapping up a few uh, chores out in the yard. You know, it's that time of year to get the yard back in order after a long winter, so hence the sun hat. And uh, today did not play out like I quite expected with training and with uh, just everything. So we're just moving things around. I had another plan for talking, another topic to talk to you about tonight here in the studio, but instead we're gonna pivot to DOMS, that's right, keyword is DOMS, D-O-M-S, and that stands for, you know it, well, maybe you don't know it. It stands for Delayed Onset Muscle Soreness. And I would suspect that most uh, veteran runners out there who watch this channel have dealt with DOMS at some point in their running career. But there's a lot, and I mean a lot, of new runners who have just started running in the last three months, 
six months, 12 months, who have just started watching, who have just uh, started running, but are now watching this channel on a regular basis. And maybe you have never dealt with doms and that's uh, that's okay, but it probably will happen to you at some point. And uh, it can be a little, uh, I don't want to say frightening, but at the, the first time I had doms, I'll just tell you the story right now. It was in high school and I'm actually going to ask the question of the question of the day right now. What is the, what has been for especially for all the veterans out there, but maybe new runners as well. What has been your worst case of doms ever in your life? For me, it was in high school. My my indoor track coach and cross country coach, basically in the winter when everyone was doing basketball or wrestling or what have you, I was uh, I was doing indoor track with like four or five other guys, and my high school cross country and, tra and indoor track coach took us to a. It's basically a long, kind of sandy uphill dirt road and we did 100 meter sprints i think we did 24 of them with a jog back recovery as kind of a hey let's toughen up and break you in for the winter training and i basically could not walk for like a week it was so it was, i'm not even like it was bad bad like really bad i had i almost asked my dad to take me to the doctor because i thought something was so wrong with me so anyway that's my worst case scenario with doms and what is yours let us know down in the comments and so with doms delayed it usually sets in 24 to 36 hours after a hard track session or a hard long run or a hard race. Now it's for me I have found it's usually like 36 hours and maybe even a little a little longer. Uh, but some people it can be 24 hours later and what is what is DOMS? So for muscle soreness that sets in through DOMS, what happens is when we are working hard, when we're pushing on the track, pushing in a long run and uh, you know, I've oft, I often get DOMS on the down, if there's a lot of downhill in a harder effort, that can cause me to uh, have DOMS in my, in my, especially in my quads. Uh, you Rarely do I get it in my hamstrings, but especially in my quads. And it's the uh, eccentric, so the extension motion of our muscles. When our muscles, so like for your bicep, when you extend your arm, that is when you can get DOMS especially, because you are overextending the muscle and really what it is and this is okay I'm not the scientist but it's actually little tiny micro tears in our muscles and then we have pain receptors in our muscles that begin to communicate to our brain that oh this kind of hurts I'm sore what is going on here well it's it's the pain receptor uh, that is responding to these little teeny tiny micro tears uh, which then causes of course inflammation in our muscles and so frankly for me DOMS can be a really challenging thing because you feel like you're fit you feel like you are uh, your breathing is in control but your legs and your legs aren't even necessarily tired they're just sore and so every step is like extra hard and frankly painful and those you're getting these pain receptors in your muscles that are communicating to your brain every step and you're like wait a minute this hurts more than my perceived effort or my perceived whatever the pace is that I'm running at and today in the 300s on the track I'm really glad I did those 300s not too intense just feeling fluid feeling in control and loosey-goosey uh, because my hope is that when I wake up tomorrow morning because I got the turnover going and loose and really warmed up the legs nicely and rather than just doing a a four mile jog or a five mile jog I, I feel like I really warmed up the muscles well and then boom hit the stretching hit the foam rolling uh, with the hopes that when I wake up tomorrow morning we're gonna be better, not perfect, but better. The DOMS will begin to uh, dissipate and go away. I'm a, like, really, I, maybe even tonight before I go to bed, I'll start to feel better, we shall see. And here are my top three action items that I give myself when trying to overcome DOMS. Uh, and there's many, many more, but here are my top three. More sleep, regeneration of the muscles, happens while you're sleeping. So instead of sleeping seven to eight hours, uh, and listen, sometimes I don't even get that much, but instead of seven to eight, uh, if you can bump it up to nine or 10, I have found that DOMS goes away more quickly. All right, so sleep, foam rolling, of course, and oh, guys, this trigger point, and it's down below. Yes, I know, I'm always promoting these different products, but I'm telling you, this I, I've only had it for maybe a month now, not quite a month. 
this trigger point foam roller. So you've got a normal foam roller, but then this trigger point. Now it took me, I would say two to three weeks to get used to how intense it is. But as I'm foam rolling on this thing with the ridges, oh, it hurts, it can hurt. But it, I'm telling you, I'm getting used to it. My legs are getting used to it. And I feel like it is really helping me overcome some of these more difficult workouts where I'm sore or, yeah, just sore. Where I'm just sore. Like, anyway. So, anyway, foam rolling is number two. And number three, aqua jogging. Yes, going to a pool. If you can get to a rec center, get to a local pool. Hopefully, pools will start opening up here pretty soon in North America and Europe as the temperatures rise in Russia and China and wherever else you are in the world. Um, get to a pool and do aqua jogging. Why? You get the running motion, so you get that movement, that fluid movement with your legs, but there's no pounding involved, right? It's that weightless feeling, and you can either use a belt, uh, a belt that goes around your waist to help you, basically to help make it a little easier so you're not overexerting yourself, uh, or you can just do it in place without one, and you're gonna be working a little harder, but um, that that can work as well. So anyway, aqua, so uh, sleep, foam rolling, and aqua jogging. That, those are my three tickets for helping to alleviate DOMS more quickly and um, oh one last thing of course there's nutrition there's supplements there's hydration there's a lot of other th massage there's a lot of other things which obviously connects to foam rolling but um, we'll keep it at that sleep foam rolling aqua jogging and in conclusion with Dom's honestly I like it it's a good thing to be sore at least I would say two or three times in a training block leading up to a peak race uh, because that means you're you're working and that means you're breaking your muscles down why so that they can rebuild even stronger uh, and for me like if I'm not sore a couple times in a training block it means yeah just for me it actually takes away a little bit of that uh, mental confidence that we've been talking about recently because I'm like wait a minute did I work hard enough because my legs are sore now I'm actually feeling pretty excited about the next hard effort on Monday for the tempo run so anyway kudos to doms embrace it but also don't be afraid to uh alleviate the pain as quick as possible through those three steps that i talked about thanks for being here oh man just a kind of a crazy day but uh we have made it through and yes two videos publishing today again the second one is going to be my full review of the Saucony fast twitch 8 and uh yeah i'm excited for it i'm excited all right seek beauty Work hard and love each other.